Back around the inland northwest, many families were left with flooded homes following January's Arctic blast. Burst pipes resulted in an increased need across the region for water restoration companies to come and help remove water from homes. However, some companies did not do what they promised customers. Our Hunter Bertram has the story. January 16th, the couch's home flooded due to their water heater's expansion canister exploding. Yeah, I called 911 and they said those they sent over the uh, uh, EMT. EMTs. They came over and they were just, they looked at that canister and they turned the water off for us. Once the water was turned off, they were left with extensive damages. So they called for help, which they would soon regret. Sign it and I'll call you. What did you do? Walk up? Laugh and I'll call you. And he never did. And After signing a contract with a restoration company, nothing came of it. In total, their home sat flooded for 17 days, all while being told false promises of help. It made me sad, but I'm not sure if he, you know, has other people he's done that to. I know he's busy. Everyone's busy with their lives. Luckily, the couches are not out of money following the ordeal, but they are out of valuable time that could have been used to prevent further damage. The repairs are expected to take two months and cost tens of thousands of dollars. Many that might be in similar situations as to this one might not know what to look for. Now, experts tell me there's a few ways to ensure that you're going to be taken care of. You know, Google reviews, um, years in business are always, are always really good to look at. Um, and just trying to get a feel for that contractor when they're on site. You know, do they match those reviews? Is that a person that you've seen on the review? Is that one of the names you've seen? Um, you know, seeing, making sure that they know what they're doing and they're knowledgeable. By taking extra time and doing further research, it can help prevent this from happening to you. In Coeur d'Alene, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now.